he literally like trumped and then farted and pooed everywhere. Like it, it was all over my clothes, on my face. Like it was just everywhere. Hey, I'm Chloe, I'm from Nottingham. I am now 24 and I have a son named Marley and he's seven. Hi, I'm Whitney, I'm from Portsmouth and I have a little boy called Khalil and he's six months, end of this month. It's not what they show you in the movies or anything, it's a lot. I love it, like with all my heart, like hard work. It's not what they make it out to be on social media and like on the films and stuff, it's a lot. It is absolutely crazy to think like, it feels like once upon a time that was like, do you know, for seven years, is such a big gap now and like to go back to newborn stage would completely terrify me is there anything that you like really like a funny story you'll tell about him as a baby or something that you can just remember i remember like my first ever like who explosion and like my friend i didn't drive at the time and my friend had just pulled up to pick me up and i was just changing him and he literally like trumped and then farted and pooed everywhere like it, it was all over my clothes on my face like it was just <laughs> everywhere and I was just sat there staring at him naked, like with poo all over me, like, I don't know what to do. Oh, okay, this has just happened. Yeah, I was like, I was ready to go. I was fresh, fresh outfit. He was clean. I thought it was only a wee, bang. And it's things like that you never forget. Like, I'll never forget that moment, like ever. I remember the first time I went out with him, this is a mistake I learned I'll never make again. Always pack a spare outfit for you and the baby. I was in, yeah. I think we were at the hospital for one of his checkups. He was sick all over me, all oh over no. himself. And on top of that, he had a massive explosion in his eye. So it was like, I was asking him, can you tell him a new mum? Can, can you tell? Because yeah. people were giving me wives <laughs> and baggies and stuff like that. And I still didn't Aww. have an acu bag boxes, but I had my little handbag. And then I learned, I'm going to go and get an acu bag. Are you excited for like everything? Like for the show to come out and... Yeah. Oh, I'm just scared about it. Everyone's gonna have something to say about it, but I'm just scared because, like, I co slept with my baby like for one month, so I'm just scared about the mum chambers and stuff coming online and getting on to me. But it's just the thing where I did what worked for me, so I'm just like, I don't want to be put down because other people have different opinions on it. If that makes sense. I will say, without like scaring you, you will get it. Like, it's like 100%, like, I've been there and no, even still now, I still get it. But you've just got to know that you are a good mom, a good person, a good friend. Like, you do everything you can. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. Your baby's happy and healthy. It doesn't matter that someone may have done something differently. And it is, at first, I would say it is hard. Because it's a bit like, whoa, all these strangers having opinions that don't know you at all. But my advice would be, like, never reply. Because there'll always be someone else that will probably reply for you. I know yeah. it's like, do I just leave it now? Or I write out a big paragraph, what I think, and then I delete it. And then I'm like, oh, I've got it off my chest. <laughs> I probably won't do that because I'll forget to not send it and I'll get to send it I'm trying to do it. <laughs> but don't worry, like there's always going to be someone that says left when you say right and it's one of the things that you just have to kind of accept. So I've seen a few comments, like obviously with the promo videos, oh, I won't be watching this because it's promoting teen pregnancy and I'm, I'm like, inside I'm screaming, no, this is not what it's about. It's showing you the hardships and the realities of being a teen mom. By no means are we like promoting teen pregnancy. We want to show you how hard it is to be a teen mom. But obviously I'm like, I'm like, I'm quiet and keep scrolling and just move on to the next Yeah, thing. you've got to. Because it makes you go crazy. Like I remember like series one, like replying to everyone or like being so upset and frustrated. And then I think these people don't know me. Like they actually don't like, you just need to just remind yourself, like I know I'm a good mom and that's all that matters. And like, that's what you guys will have to do is just like, remember like you do your thing, your baby's happy. That's all that matters. Yeah. 100%. I do have a question for you. Would you, do it, would you do it again in the future? Yeah, I definitely do. I think I want Marley to have a sibling. See, I'm one of four and oh. Jordan's one of four. So, like, we kind of both, like, we're really close to our siblings and we, like, we look at Marley, imagine him not being dead close with his siblings. You know what I mean? I think the problem is I, I wish I'd have done it sooner. I feel like I've left it. I get eight hours sleep a night. He goes to school, so I have free time. Like, yeah. everything's easy now because he's self-sufficient. He can go to the toilet on his own. And when he wants me, like, it's to play. Do you know what I mean? It's not like he needs me to, like, wipe his bum or make him a drink as such. So I think I've left it so long that I've got, like, a fear now. Like, baby fear of, like, having... Because it'll be, like, restarting. I feel like it'll be, like, having the first baby all over again. Yeah, that's with me. I wanted Kelly to have a sibling, like, really close in age. Then I was thinking, do I want to go through the new one stage again? Mm, no. Don't want to go through my first trimester trim stage again? Nah, I'm all right, thank you. 
Do you think you will? Do, do I think I will? Yeah, have another one, like in the long run, because it's still like new, do you know what I mean? You're still under the one year mark. 100%. Oh, I feel like where you are now, I feel like that was just so long ago. I can't like remember things as well as I used to. Like every year he gets older, there's like new memories being made and like different yeah. challenges and like he hits different milestones. Whereas obviously you'll be hitting like crawling, sitting and all that. Oh, whereas like God. he's like <laughs> learning new like nursery rhymes and not even nursery rhymes. He's like, oh, he comes home and talks about video games now. And I'm like, where's my oh. tiny baby gone? Where's my <laughs> baby? It goes so far. I've got this song stuck in my head now and just keeps replaying. <laughs> <laughs> It's just weird how like obsessed babies get with like these weird shows. How do you find having a newborn, like obviously as a teen, because you're a little bit older now and I'm I'm still a baby myself. How old are you, sorry? 17. Oh my God, we're in the state, like I was 17. And it's really funny because you seem a lot more mature than I was at 17. Like I found like watching the promo. No, it's just an act. <laughs> like for the show, watching the promo, it feels like I look back at like us lot when we were like 17, 18, and we seemed so much more immature than you lot. Like I was literally telling Jordan, like you all seem like really mature, like, and like I feel like we're the same age, like talking to you. It doesn't feel like you're 18, 17, sorry. It's weird. Oh. <laughs> Can you give us any clues to anything exciting that's gonna be shown on uh, Team Mum New Generation? You might see me giving birth on TV, you might not. I was the only one pregnant in the series. That's cool. That's really cool. I thought I was going to give birth so elegantly and beautifully. It was it was a disaster. I went a bit stupid during labour. I forgot how to push. They were telling me to push. I was sucking it back up. Every time his head was coming out, I was sucking him back up. It's because you don't know what to do, isn't it? You just don't know what you're doing. It's like first time. And then they went to me, what, you can start pushing. Did you have a long labour? When my waters broke to um, when I gave birth, it was nine hours. But they gave me pepper. Okay. My pain was really bad, so I feel like that sped up the labour a little bit. Because obviously I wanted to go to bed, but then by the time I woke up again, his head was out and I was like, oh, okay. I didn't actually realise what was going oh, on. Oh, no way. Oh, it was so nice speaking to you. It just brings me back memories of like me being where you are now and like how long ago and crazy that is. It was really nice to meet you. I can't wait for you to see our, um, my journey and our journeys. And I can't wait to be finally part of the new team mum family. It's all exciting and scary. Aww. Thank you for the knowledge and the future knowledge you might pass on to me. Yeah, it'll be great. I'm really excited. We're like one big family.